Howdy guys, I'm Sadie, and recently you might have seen me build my floating deck. It turned out awesome, but there's nowhere to sit. So today we're gonna to be building some lounge chairs. We're gonna be building them from two by fours and two by sixes, and we're gonna make them awesome. So let's get started. A big thank you to Simpson Strong Tie for sponsoring this video. All right, I've got Oscar. I've got my build plans, cut list, everything I need. Oh, and the wood to get started. First step, we're gonna take all of this wood over to my miter saw. When working with dimensional lumber, I always like to trim off the end just so I can start with a perfectly square edge. And then from there, I'm just gonna measure out all the pieces to the bases and get those cut out. For the joinery, I'm gonna be using some simple butt joints wood glue, and Simpson Strong Ties Deck Drive DSV wood screws. I've used these on so many of my outdoor projects and they work awesomely. They have a quick guard coating that's corrosion resistant and you can use these on pressure treated lumber. Oh, and pre-drilling isn't required. For the bases, we are just basically constructing a box or a frame here. So it's gonna be two long pieces with two short pieces on each end. I am using a clamp here to hold everything in place while I'm dr drilling and screwing them together. Next, when I put on the top piece, I've got these spacer blocks that I put on each side that we'll be using later, but they're just gonna help me align everything as I screw in that top board into place. And then I just repeat. I'm building two lounge chairs, so I'm gonna have a total of these, total of four of these leg assemblies. If you wanna build some lounge chairs for yourself, I do have full build plans available on my website, as well as a written tutorial. all four leg assemblies assembled, it's time to measure for that center upright that I was talking about earlier. So I'm just making a mark and then I'm gonna use my speed square to mark that line all the way across so when I flip these on their side, I'll know exactly where to drive those screws into. Adding the piece here in about the middle is going to give us extra support where most of the weight of the chair is gonna be held. And once we have all four of those put on, it's time to put the chairs together. So we're gonna have two legs, and then we have these cross supports that we're gonna be putting on the top end of the lounge chairs. Again, I'm using wood glue, and most of the wood glue I'm just using on the base pieces of this project. And you will see a lot of these pony easy hold clamps because they're like an extra set of hands to clamp and hold everything in place while I screw it all together. This part, you do wanna make sure everything's square and just in the right place before you start screwing it in. Did I mention how easy this build is? It basically just needs a saw, a drill, and some Simpson screws, and you can make yourself some lounge chairs. All right, now we wanna add the two back support pieces. I'm gonna be attaching those to one of those cross supports that we just installed using some hinges. So I'm just attaching the hinges here and this is where the backrest will be able to pivot back and forth once we have this installed. I used some spacer blocks, um, marked where the holes were, pre-drilled and inserted the hinges. Oh, and here's a closer look at that. success, our backrest can move up and down. Now that we made it so the backrest can pivot, we need to have a support arm. So I'm attaching this the same way, but in the opposite direction. And so this can go up and down and be resting on the seat slats or backrest slats um, 
to hold it into position when you're sitting in it. All right, with those bases assembled, it's time to go back over to my miter saw. And as you can see, the shop is full of all sorts of stuff and projects that I need to do. One being building a new miter saw. But I made do and we're getting these two by sixes cut out. Um, they are eight foot in length and I'm trying to get four pieces out of them. The width of these chairs are 24 inches or technically 23 and seven eighths because there's a kerf on each cut. So we had about that left over with each board. To attach the top slats or seat and backrest slats, um, I wanted to install the middle ones first so that I can make sure that they didn't get, the spacing didn't get in the way of the backrest pivoting. So I'm just making some marks here and I'll have all the details and measurements on the plans that'll be available on my website if you're wanting to build one of these for yourself. So I'm starting with attaching the first slat to the backrest. And on the backrest, you wanna make sure that you are screwing this into those two inner boards, not the middle one and not the outside ones. All right, here's the test. It pivots and I think it comes out to about 30 degrees, but angle, but I didn't actually measure it, but it did, I did sit in it and it felt super comfortable in like natural position that I'd want to sit in. Next, I put on the uh, first of the bottom slats and I did these two first, just so I can make sure that I had the spacing and the pivoting action down, it would work good. With those two success, I decided to move to the bottom of the lounger and attach that slat next, just because I wanted to make sure that the spacing in between the two base pieces was consistent. And you can see here on the other side of that, I did have to get a little creative with forcing these two by fours and two by sixes into the position I wanted, but it's just to be expected when you're working with dimensional lumber and these will be outside, so they might move over time as well. Then I moved all the way up to the top and put the very top slat on. Again, I clamp these in place using those easy hold clamps, and then I'm screwing into those two middle um, upright supports that we put in, not to the outside base of the legs. And then I tested the back support. And since that looked good and everything held, it's time to put on the remaining slats. So again, first we put on the outside edges of each section. And then I lined it up with the other chair that I already measured and just lined up these slots with that and started to screw away. We're gonna have about a one and five eighths inch gap in between each board, which will allow for drainage. It's still comfortable to sit on, the gaps in it bug me, but I will be putting cushions on these as well. So the whole bottom slats we're attaching to the outside base pieces. Once we get up to the top here, we just have to remind ourselves to go into those middle cross supports or backrest supports. Then I did a little sanding to round over the edges and then it was time for paint. And I'm using my Graco cordless airless sprayer to spray these. I love it. It's battery operated, no cords makes quick work of it. It does shoot a lot of paint. So I went through a whole gallon on these two loungers, but super fast, can't beat that. And then the last, well, one of the last steps was to add some little rubber feet to the base. I did this because when it rains, I didn't want the wood to be sitting in any water. And it was hot that day. So look at Oscar, he's underneath the grapefruit tree. He's a smart dog while I was out in the middle of the sun. Okay, now this is the last step. These are pretty heavy. They're made out of two by fours and two by sixes. So I decided to put some wheels on them so it's easy to cart them around. I just pre-drilled a hole and used a bolt and some washers with these wheels I found on Amazon. And you wanna make sure they're not too tight so the wheel spins. And then I can roll them over to their new home. 
and their new home is gonna be on the floating deck that I recently built. I do have a full YouTube video on how I built that. If you're interested, I'll put a link in the description below. I absolutely love how these loungers turned out. Now I have a nice cozy place to come and hang out with Oscar while he's running in circles around the orange tree. Another big thank you to Simpson Strong Tie for sponsoring this video. If you guys enjoyed this video, please hit that like button and make sure you're subscribed to my channel so you don't miss my next awesome build. And until next time, remember, build loud, build wild, and have an awesome day.